I went from condos to pop's house. On calls, now bus routes. And the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. <laughs> All right, all right. So uh, we going into a topic, going into a, you know, sometimes we like to have these type of conversations because it's good to see how people feel when it come down to stuff like this. But it just came out that Larsa Pippen, uh, y'all, y'all know the story between Scottie Pippen and Larsa Pippen and everything like yeah. that. You know, I do for not give me the cliff notes. You know, okay. So uh, Larsa Pippen and Scottie Pippen was married for a very, very long time. Um, they divorced. In fact, Larsa Pippen is now with Scottie Pippen's uh, teammate um, son. You Why know? does that name sound Michael familiar? Jordan. Um, so son. Yeah, well, my, yeah. you Scottie know Michael Pippen. Jordan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scottie Pippen the was uh, Michael Jordan's okay. you know, teammate, teammate on the Chicago Bulls. Got it, okay. And, um, uh, uh, Oh, what's what's his name? Marcus Jordan. Yeah. Who is Michael Jordan's son is now dating Larsa Pippen. Yeah. Okay. You know, so um, but that ain't the story for the oh, day. Oh wait, right, right. she's uh, I watch a lot of the Kardashians. Yeah, she's, she's, she's really associated she was with really the Kardashians, close. Right? Yeah, she, she was really okay. close. With the, yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. So, basically, um, they went through court, got a divorce, and everything like that. Um, and basically, Larsa Pippen is entitled to uh, a 50 50 split of Scottie Pippen's um retirement funds and other monies as well. <laughs> yeah. She's so, laughing. She's like <laughs> so, so let me read a little bit of this. So you see how to cough on that one. Uh, so Larsa Pippen just scored a huge win in her year long divorce from Scottie Pippen. It looks like the former basketball wife, that's just talking about basketball wife, could receive half of his retirement package. Um let me see, let me see. New legal documents reveal the order that was put in place in L.A. County court that grants Larsa Pippen 48 rights to Scottie Pippen, Chicago Bulls 401k and savings plan trust. The blast reported with Larsa being married to Scottie Pippen from 1997 to 2016. She was le- legally awarded half of the amount that was occurred in all account balances from 97 to 2016, regardless of what's in Scottie's account. Larsa is legally entitled to the full amount. To the extent that there are no assets in his accounts sufficient to satisfy the assignment benefit of the date, a separate account is established for Larsa. The order should be interpreted as an award of 100% of Scotty's vested account balance, the doc said. In the order, a judge signed on June 16, 2023, Larsa is to receive the funds in a cash lump sum. And as soon as it's administratively possible following the approval of this order. Um, this is good news for the Real Housewives of Miami Star, who still takes care of their four children, son, Scotty Jr., 22, Preston, 21, Justin, you know, all over 18. <laughs> <laughs> she, well, also she also reported. Still baggers. She also reported. Hey, no, it's plans. California. 18 yeah. is still 14. You're still begging. Yeah. She also reportedly has plans of having uh, another with her current boyfriend, Marcus Jordan, uh, the son of Scotty's former teammate and longtime enemy, Michael Jordan. I mean, they don't have nothing to do with Scotty. Thir- uh, Marcus, 32, recently opened up the. Open up on the la- latest episode um, of the iHeartRadio podcast, Separation Anxiety, with Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan about their plans to welcome their child together. So, uh, we'll start with you uh, first. There. So, what do you think about Larsa Pippen? You know, they was married for a while and everything like that, but getting half, you know, uh, 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 of the money and everything like that. You know, so um, what are your thoughts on this situation? Oh, you know, all, are like all the kids his that they um, have together? Scotty, yeah, yeah, yeah they're all Scotty's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Married for what, 30, 25 years. They're, they're I mean, over 20 yeah, a little over 20 you know what i'm saying so time. yeah i mean it makes sense but at the same time though like i'm a firm believer and you should have your own assets yeah. you should have your own your own i wish but this was a word i like the you way you think, think about like, it. God. come on she was a basketball player's wife like he's working she got four yeah, kids but you know what though like at, at the same time though like you, know. you can be a bath i mean I don't know the dynamic. You got yeah. a lot of kids. Like you have, like that's obviously that's yeah. You got what, what do you say? Four kids. They got four. four, they have four, four kids. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean that's. I'm not gonna tell you that that's not fair. It is yeah. fair, especially yeah. if like you're at home full time. But I, I mean, from from my aspect, like I I would prefer to have my own. And and you know, if you have that much money, you have enough to like build your own. Right. Maybe like get some help with the kids. Like you don't need to like push the oh i have four kids and that's why i get half like if you have four kids and millions of dollars like you have help you <laughs> yeah have help. exactly you, know, you can go out you and get a job something. like i'm yeah. sorry yeah. like so you don't see nothing wrong with a prenup um i actually don't know i don't you see and i only say that because if i were if i were in that situation <laughs> i would want a prenup I feel like I feel like I there's you got, these well, last few topics. Is. These last few topics, women are mad at me. 
Yeah. Nah, like, nah. Like, it's, it's, like, no, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's nothing, <laughs> it's nothing wrong with what you said. But you know what, though? You know, nothing wrong. It's right. That's that's the thing. It's right. There's nothing wrong with anything that I don't see anything wrong yeah. with it. You know? You know, she's just being realistic with it. Yeah. I think nowadays with where we're at in this world, yeah. there should not be anything wrong with I think, prenups. I think, I think, we're in a different place in this world right now. I think, I think, okay, so going back, if, if the prenup were to involve someone like a woman who, okay, if it was a couple who didn't have a lot of money, obviously you wouldn't need a prenup, but if you didn't have a lot of money and, you know, the mm -hmm. woman was staying at home taking care of all these kids yeah. and, you know, couldn't, couldn't go out and get a job because like you couldn't afford a nanny or you couldn't afford to do this and yeah. you had to stay home then 100 percent get yours because yeah. it's like you couldn't go out and do those yeah. things but if you like the situation you just read like there's no reason why you couldn't yeah. have gotten some help yeah. and and gone out and, and done your thing yeah so and done your own thing and obviously like i think i think the whole like basketball's wives like so so and so's wives i think it's yeah. played out especially now yeah because it's like i mean you can still you can still do what you got to do right honestly yeah. so i wouldn't even yeah. go one step further than that even if you and i'm gonna say this even as a man who believes strongly in prenups even if you were in a situation where in the beginning y'all both had nothing and you know y'all was together before he got anything rather she was at home watching the kids doing this mm -hmm. or that if he became a millionaire and they divorced, let's say 20, 30 years later, she mm -hmm. still should get half. I believe that. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. y'all, yep. no matter what, y'all was married before anything was brought into this relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't care what she did or what she didn't do. You know what right. I'm saying? That, that's why I never thought it, it was anything wrong when it come down to the um the Amazon dude. Um, yeah, Jeff Be he gave Jeff it Bezos. to her. He knows. You know what I'm saying? I, I think, yeah, it. she deserve it. You know, yeah. they was with each other in uh, her parents' basement yeah. before they had a dollar. Yeah. Understandable. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But in this situation, Scotty was already in the NBA. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, but what are your thoughts about it? Um. Well, okay. So I'm going to speak because I'm a mother, <laughs> which is why I was late today. You know, it's, same. It's, same. It's, you see? Yeah. So it's it's harder for the women because we bear most of the brunt. I mean, a once one in ten, maybe the father is a single father or whatever is going on. But we bear the most of the responsibility. So we deserve half. Matter of fact, we deserve more than half, but because the law is the law, maybe half is good. And we're doing everything. Like men can literally get up and go do whatever they want to do. They might not even see the kid for a month, two months. Who cares? Might, might send a couple of dollars, might not. Who cares? They're still living their life. But we are stopped right there. Oh, I can't work. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, the child care. It's all on the woman. So I think 50% is fair. Like I have to do everything. Even, even if he had that before. You know what I'm saying? Before like y'all got together. No, I'm just saying, like, even if he had that going on, he was making millions oh, and all before? of that before, you know, y'all yeah. got married and everything okay. like that. You well, would say that everything that he made I mean, before y'all okay. got together, okay. he should give half of that. Maybe not, maybe not half of that, but okay. still something of that. Like she literally has all the responsibility. Like he can literally just go do whatever and nobody going to say, no, okay, whatever. And she's stuck. So her getting half, that's nothing. Like, you know give what, me half, nigga. Like, I'm the one doing everything. You're not even here. Give me half. It depends on the situation. <laughs> Y'all niggas not even showing up. Yeah, yeah. Like, if that was, if that was like in a in a in a situation where the money was not there, yeah, 100. percent I agree yeah, with you. Okay. But in the situation that they're in, yeah, she, she could he get already he know. already had money, and it's like she wasn't really tied down in that way because yeah. it's like she could have she not move not around. that not yeah. that not that like. If you are, if you have money, that that's what you should do is just yeah. go get a nanny. But like, if you really wanted to do something that bad and you had the means to do it, yeah, most people aren't gonna pass on that. Yeah. I had to show him